What's up, YouTube? Spook Show Lucky here, guys. Today we are here to discuss the new Halloween. All right, guys. So, first thoughts on the film. Um, all right, and I'm, I'm going to try to keep this not too long of a video. I'm also going to try to talk about it without spoiling anything uh, for anybody who hasn't seen it. So, first off, we'll just say that the, the, the film was very universally liked from critics so far. Um, so it is doing really well and that's a good thing because I think that this could be the inevitable return of slashers that we've all been looking for a good reboot, a good follow up, um, that brings us out. So first off, and we're just going to kind of go with it, wing it here and talk about it. Uh, first off, we're going to talk about characters. The characters in the movie were fantastic. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, you see her change roles so many times in this film that, it's definitely, to date, her best film ever. Uh, and is her best character play ever. It's best final girl ever. I mean, she really nailed this movie uh, 100%. Uh, you know, when she when she was acting, and, and I hope this doesn't spoil anything for anybody, but she takes it from being somebody who you think should be in a mental asylum because, you know, they've been traumatized and she has severe PTSD. And these are things that you would really it's a real connectivity. You feel that in real life because, you know, say that you've been through this crazy traumatic experience, who's not to say that you'd be the same way? You know, and she really takes that character from that to becoming the heroine to becoming, you know, now she's kind of a bit of an alcoholic, you know? Um, just, I mean, you, you see all these roles transform with her until she transcends into this final girl character. So she did a really good job with that. Um, the, the daughter, the granddaughter, uh, Jamie's granddaughter in the film did a really good job. Uh, I don't see why there was a big placement for her because um, she is in the film a lot. And, you know, it's her and she has this little boyfriend drama and things like that. Um, and I don't know that there was really a reason to have all of that in the film. They were going the right direction with just talking about Jamie, you know, and, and having her in there, or, or Lori Strode, and uh, and her daughter. And then you have these other generations. So you have, you know, Lori Strode, her daughter, and then her granddaughter. And so you have all these different generations, which is cool to see all those aspects, I guess. Um, but it really kind of didn't go with, well, why do you have her and then her? I don't know. So they, they took this multi-generational approach to it, and it works. It's not bad, um, but I just don't see why... You know, they necessarily had to do that. Do that. Now, so like I said, those characters were great. Um, even the acting, everybody's acting was good. There was some weak dialogue that I, that I just didn't care for, where I was like, ah, it's a little weak. But look, these are little, literally just little, little things that I had wrong with the movie. Um, because as far as that goes, those things, I mean, you know, even with the weak dialogue, even with the daughter scene or the granddaughter scenes in there, it was still a great movie. Um, now, going back to the film itself, it really takes you back from the opening credits to the end credits. You feel like you're watching a 1978 horror film. I mean, the way that the camera angles were shot, uh, it really, the angles, the film, the grit, the, the where the scenes took place from, it really felt like Halloween. You know, you felt like you were watching an original slasher film, which was awesome. Um... They really did a good job with that. And, guys, I've, I've defended uh, the Rob Zombie Halloweens for a while. You know, and I said, hey, you know, he did a good job. You know, yeah, he made it Rob Zombie-ish, but what did you expect Rob Zombie to do? Um, you know, he gave Michael a backstory and all of that. I know, you know, Rob Zombie Halloween is one of those films you either love it or you hate it. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of fans and critics and real hardcore enthusiasts of Halloween hate the movie. A lot of people who aren't so familiar, they're like, oh, yeah, I love it. Now, me, I was kind of in the middle. Um, you know, but what I didn't necessarily like was that it makes you sympathize with Michael Myers. So you start getting sympathetic with him because you go, oh, well, yeah, he should be bashing that kid's head in because that kid picked on him all his life. You know, or, you know, his stepdad's a, a piece of crap. Yeah, he should be slitting that guy's throat. And it's not like you want to wish death on anybody, but at the same time, it, it's vindicated. And you feel like, oh, well, there's a reason he's doing this. You know, and he gives him a good motive. This film took it back to that no motive, the shape, that pure evil, and I love it. Um, 
And again, not to spoil anything, but you know, there's one scene where he's taking care of some business in one house and literally walks next door and just does the same thing. There's no reason. There's there's no rhyme behind. I mean, he just is a killer. And so it really gets you back to that that former state of glory of what Michael Myers is, you know, which is the epitome of evil. Um, you have some clips in there, you know, of Dr. Loomis talking, which is cool. They pay homage to a lot of the other films, even even beyond part one. Uh, they they kind of pay some homage to, to some of the other films. So if you notice, and you can even see this in the trailer, so I'm not really spoiling anything, but the trick-or-treaters, they're wearing... Halloween 3 season the witch mask they're wearing the uh, silver shamrock mask so that was really cool and then there's one scene in there and, and I don't want to talk about it but it is from part one and once you see the movie you'll know exactly what scene I'm talking about but they reversed the scene from from Michael to Lori um, it is awesome it is awesome so there was a lot in there that that you just go oh my god oh my god oh my god and then other people might not pick up on uh, but, uh, you know, us as fans or you as a fan will definitely notice, you know, there's a lot of hidden gems and, and Easter eggs in there. Um, the, the final scenes, I mean, the, from the front half to the back half of the movie, like I said, the only thing that I thought was some of the dialogue was just a little weak and, and they had some funny, it was, there was some comical stuff in there, which I didn't mind. Uh, if you really think about it, you know, part one had a little bit of comical stuff. I mean, you didn't laugh as much about it then. They didn't execute it the right way, and this one had a little bit more comedy. Uh, and, and the kid that was being the comical relief, basically, I mean, it was for really just one scene. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it worked. Uh, it, it was tasteful, and it was in moderation. They didn't make the whole thing a dark comedy, you know. Uh, there was just a couple scenes to kind of lighten up the mood, get you laughing. And what I like about horror movies is when they take you through that string of emotions. When they take you from being scared to laughing to being freaked out, to crying. You know, when, when a movie can make you feel all those different emotions, that's when you know you made a good film. And this one executed that very, very well. Um, you, you do take this roller coaster of emotion, and it, it's just, guys, you gotta see it. Let me know what you think. I have quite a few people that I, uh, that I follow and I'm subscribed to on here as well, and I've seen it. Their reviews, and and they're kind of back and forth. Some of them are like, yeah, it's a great movie. Some of them are like, oh, it could have been better. But look, guys, there are those purists out there who, no matter what happens, they're never going to make a good enough Michael Myers follow-up. And no matter what, you can never make the movie as good as the original. And I get that. But when you have somebody giving an honest effort, like this film is, um, when somebody really follows that storyline and... and transforms it guys they did this movie the right way that's that's basically the only way to put it they did this movie right it is a fantastic film um i think i think it's the best follow-up that they've ever done as far as sequels go uh in the horror film industry um you know or, or i guess the the myers franchise michael myers franchise and the halloween films it is definitely the best follow-up movie ever ever done and it really feels like 40 years later you know, you get that whole vibe and you just, like I said, guys, you need to go check it out for yourselves. But once you do watch it, or if you have seen it, drop down in the comments below what you thought of the movie. Uh, Cause I really am curious to know what everybody's thinking. And uh, especially collectors and people who watch our videos, let me know what you guys thought about the film. I'm really, really curious about that. As always, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.